Okay, we can live with that. Yes, we can live with that. Greetings and salutations, my friends. Welcome to what should be a weird and wonderful episode. We've got to sell a bunch of players. And obviously the first thing you do, if you look at the emails there, you'll see that they're all unhappy. Because to sign them, I had to promise to play them in positions, coaches, you know, all the usual shit. And then obviously I did none of that. But, you know, he didn't play as an attacking midfielder because he didn't play. Uh, but that's fine. They're all unhappy. I've transfer listed them. I haven't moved on yet. I've just transfer listed them. I actually looked through because I want to keep a couple. I looked through. Actually, nobody I really think is. I think we can do better other foreign players. I'm just going to sell them all. Hopefully, because if not, that is a lot of wages. So, another thing, I just had to give Tian a massive pay rise. He was on like 500 quid a week. He's not very good, but he was amazing last season. So, I'm like, his contract's running out. So, I paid it. 1,800, though. It's a lot of, it's a lot of money for him. Okay, so, I'll come back to you with an update. <laughs> Let me see if we can sell any of these players. Fingers crossed. Here's the plan. We have one week until the transfer window opens, okay? I have transfer listed everybody from this youth team that we're going to try and sell. Every single one. Nobody's wanted, which is... I was hoping... I hadn't offered them out to clubs yet. That's the next step. I'm going to wait till the transfer window. First, first day. <laughs> Big sale. Buy one, get one free type thing. And I'm going to offer them out. But, like, I was hoping... There'd be a tiny bit of interest on the signing side. So, remember there's loads of rules that we have to adhere to, which I will mess up. There's, there's, I've already accepted that I will mess up. So, I've signed a couple of players that are arriving at the end of the month. Now, they're foreign players. You may have heard of them. And it has required me to spend most of my wages... And my entire transfer budget for these two players. Now, are they worth it? No. Will they be good enough to keep us up? Probably not. But they're fun. And also, I think the problem is going to lie, not so much in those. And it's the... Remember, because you can only sign so many over 21 players that are Chinese... So I need to fill the gaps in my squad. Not too many older Chinese players. With like under 21 Chinese players. And all the good ones are, are worth millions. Because they're rare as rocking or shit. Right? Especially goalkeepers and stuff. So that might be a bit tricky. But it's going to be it's gonna be fine. The next edit now. will You will see. Judged on my face. How the selling portion of the football trafficking is going. Okay. <laughs> Apologies if this video is up late. It's taken me a while. So, we've still got another thing to do. But not normally, I wouldn't come back to the registration window because that's boring as shit, right? But this, there's a very good chance that I've made mistakes here. As you can see from all the rules, I didn't like keep a tally as I was making signings. I kind of winged it based roughly on what the rules were. <laughs> I see them more as guidelines, okay? Now, as for our uh, footballer trafficking situation. So I off. I thought I'm just going to offer them all. I'm not going to go individually with values and stuff. I thought I'm just going to offer all of them out for a million quid each and then I'll just keep going down until they're sold. Job done. So, million pounds. How many people do you think I sold? One. Take that. Take that all day. 750k. How many people do you think I sold? One. Okay. Really good. Like, 100k above is what I'm looking at. Next. The next highest offer <clears throat> I received for one of my foreign players was... £8,000. Um, which he rejected the contract to. So... We do have a number. So, here's my plan. 
I, I'm going to keep. I've basically they're all transfer listed now for a hundred k each. I'm 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 seeing it as like a pound shop. You know, I'm just going to leave them there. We're going to forget they exist and we've ever done this. Okay, we all agree never to talk about it again. And then um, what we do um, is try and get rid of them in the meantime. Like I'll let you know if any go, sort of thing. You know, we'll keep it. <laughs> but to be fair, I think we. One pound, one million seven hundred thousand ish, or whatever it was, total actually pays for pretty much this entire experiment. Even if these contracts run out, I, I should be able to sell um, players. One other little thing before we do the registration, which is going to be the most important part of this <laughs> season, probably. Um, I'm signing hopefully a new central midfielder, another foreign player. So I've moved Fabrizio, who was our central midfielder into the reserves so but the other guy's not here yet so we've got squadron registration it's not a final registration so we can add him we just need to leave him okay so i'm not going to read the rules we're just going to see what happens okay let's just clear the selection okay it's going to be fine it's going to be fine i'll take you through the you'll see some of the uh Oh, yeah, actually, do I want to show you this bit? You might have already seen one. No, no, hang on. I've got to show you the transfers first. Because you're going to recognise a couple of people. You might have seen one already. <clears throat> May I present to you? They're not on there. May I... Because stupid football manager. May I present to you... <laughs> Mossy... And Liam Byrne from Cape Town Spurs. And Liam Byrne is a really good... I knew he was good. Look, I knew he was good. Look, and he joined us. I'm paying him stupid money, okay? He's amazing. Mossy, still good. Like, not as good as that's why it's 40 grand instead. But at this level, just beastly. Six grand a week. <laughs> I choked on that, that money. But look, how could I not? How could I not? I've got a short list. Um... Where's my little shortlist? Journeyman Legends. Right? And that that's that's all that's on there at the moment. So we've poached a couple of those. Um, let me take you through the others. That aren't foreign players, because they're not really for us. You know. Um, oh, God, there's so many. Because remember, a lot of them only just arrived. Uh, so we've got the Liu. We've got Liu Shu, who is a central midfielder. Just depth. Just a bit of depth. An under-21 Chinese player. You know, you understand by now why we need to do that. And then we got a Shibo, <laughs> which is a great name. 28-year-old goalkeeper. Not bad. I couldn't find a goalkeeper because, obviously, Chinese goalkeepers. Mm. I also have also made one of my favourite signings. It might even be better than Mossy and uh, Liam. So, Liam, we've seen... Absolute fucking beast. Loving that. 275k. Then we got Wang Fang, who's the loney right back. Um, we got in again just for a bit of depth, and he's got a funny name. Mossy, man, myth, legend. Uh, did it, didn't play. Uh, hang on, we're halfway through a season. Yeah, it's weird. Okay, it's doing all right. Five goals. Um, And then we got Zi Yafeng, who is just a 17 year old. Chinese winger um, on loan. That's the one we had before, wasn't it? Um, okay. It's, it's the bottom one. It's the bottom one. It's embarrassing, but it's... Okay. Then we got Lin Feng on... So I basically was scouting all these young Chinese players and I was hoovering up any half-decent player that was under 21. Solid defender. Physicals were a bit... shite. And then we got Zhao... Quimming? Do we just call him Quim? Sorry, but sorry, buddy. Um, so Quim is another central midfielder. Pretty good, actually. Like not bad for for a young Chinese player. Quite happy with Quim. <laughs> Next on to Wang. Um, honestly, it's not. Didn't do that on purpose. Uh, another random decent youngster that was out of contract. And then we've got um, a decent, playable central midfielder that we loaned in, uh, 18 years old. And finally, so 
I could have got a foreign player to make the striker, but I like the monk, and I kind of like have the idea of hiring a striker that's homegrown, and I like the monk, and I want to stick with players that did well last season as well. Give them a chance. But I needed somebody that can compete with him if he just is awful at this level. I needed somebody that could battle with him, and I found this guy. And I'm not going to tell you anything about this guy. I'm going to show you him and keep silent. I want you to scan this profile and when you see something on this profile of this player, you will immediately realise why I signed this player. It's one thing. Could be anything. He could have 20 pace or something. So scan it. Because when you see it, you'll know why I signed him. Ready? Three, two. And it, it cost a lot of money because Chinese young players. He's not worth this, by the way. <laughs> just, just don't get too excited. He's not worth this. But look, ready? He probably is worth it, to be fair. But have you seen it yet? Have you seen it? What, his finishing's not that great. His first touch is not, you know, okay, good aggression, some really nice physicals, but no pace. Well, ba -ba boom He's fucking six foot four, people. He's six foot four Chinese, man. Come on. Why would you not? How could you not? You sh it should be illegal to not sign him. Oh, look at it. <laughs> I like the fact he tries killer balls often, but only has six passing. It's amazing. He's six foot four. He's six foot six or seven, rather. Ninety-seven kilos. Is ninety-four kilos? Is that? I don't know kilograms. Is that thin? All right, fully. Let's go. To be fair, I was banging them in. <laughs> sort of handing them in. He's handing them in last season. One in three. Got a seven rating. Very excited. Okay, registration. Okay, good luck, everybody. You have to have three goalkeepers, yeah? Max minimum three goalkeepers. They're all Chinese. Bish, bish, bish. Job done. Check it off. Come on. I'm so nervous about this. I'm going to do it by position because then we'll know if we're screwed or not. Um, right backs. Wang. Wei Zhang, who we got on loan again. Okay. It's all looking good. Nothing weird's happening. Okay. <clears throat> Um, let's do these. No, maximum of seven foreign players registered in a season, but it's only six foreign players. I think I've got four or five, but I've got one more coming in. Okay, boom. Nothing weird. Minimum squad. What's the maximum squad size? Thirty players. We're good. Should be a hold. Should be fine, right? It's going to be fine. Just going to keep clicking. Not going to think about it because I. Done it. I've done this. Per I've set it up perfectly. I memorized the rules. Yes, look at that. Easy. So we got four. That's what I said. We've got one more coming in. Okay. We haven't over registered. That's what I was worrying about. Like, an all because I wanted to holiday for about like two weeks while I went for a shower. And then it was like, but I can't in case of the registration window. And then they register a load of the Brazilians or something. So I couldn't do that. That was the one I had to be careful about. So we, I was really careful to sign young players. Um, oh, I didn't even... Oh, I didn't even see this. I didn't even know this existed. We're fine. Max squad salary of 165 grand a week on foreign players. I think that was to reduce the silliness. Right, Beck? Sorry, Beck is my... Asian football or world football knowledge person, okay, and flags. Um, that's right, right, Beck. <laughs> he'll, he'll send me a Discord message in about an hour after the video has gone up to tell me if I'm right. Uh, okay, so that's good. All right, and we've got room for the other guy, and he won't break any rules. And I registered everybody. I know, I know, I post, I can go and register one of the other foreign players in my reserves, but I'm not counting them as my team. <laughs> we, they don't exist. Remember, we're not talking about it. I've broke my own rule. Fuck's sake. Okay. We have registered. I'm going to check. Oh, I want to show you this guy. There's reasons why I'm get I'm going to replace Fabrizio with this guy. Because he's fucking amazing. And I don't think I've ever signed an Indonesian player. He's 19 years old. 28 caps. Like, it gives us a bit more of a, like a, a better option at, at, wing, at uh, right back if we need it. And central midfield as well, obviously. He's a bit of a beast and six fifty nine grand release clause. 
chuffed. I'm chuffed to get an Indonesian player. That's really cool. Right, okay. On to the first game. We've got a bunch of friendlies to play. On to the first game. The only other thing I want to say, during my scouting of, like, the good youngsters and stuff, um, there are many, but, like, because these big Chinese clubs are bankrolled, you have to spend 10, 20 million to try and get these players off them. So they're all really good. But the scary part is how good they are compared to my team, really. Like, these youngsters, under 18s, and I'm like, of the best teams, are just like, wow, they're better than my first team, most of them. So that's a worry. Um, let's check. Uh... All right. Wow. We're 50 to 1 and somebody else is 1,000 to 1 to stay up. Oh, they know a good manager when they see one. Right, we'll go on to the first day of the season. We're gonna look, before that, we're going to look at dynamics and then my profile to see how I'm doing. I was doing so well, but there has been a casualty of the registration war. And that is Han Juan, our possibly sixth choice centre-back, fifth choice centre-back. Uh, reason being, we signed the Indonesian guy, meaning, which was fine, foreign players, but that pushed us to 29 players, to one off the maximum, but you have to have three under 21 players, homegrown, trained by the club, so I don't, so you have to leave space for him, I've only got one, so we have to cull somebody, and it's Juan Shan, sorry about that. Okay, before we do anything else, we need to do what the wheel decided. Wilfred Bonney decided that we needed to have two players that hate each other. Now, the rule is they can't play together. One can be on the bench and one can be playing. And they can be subbed on and off, but they have to be at the same time. You can't sub one on while the other's on, okay? Ideally, I'd want it to be two goalkeepers or two shit players. Or two foreign players, because they can't all play together anyway. So that would that could work as well. But let's go. So I'm going to do it from the goalkeeper down. One is going to be the goalkeeper. There's 28 players in the squad. Let me bring up the browser. First one, generate 13. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. It's our Indonesian wonder kid. Arguably the best player in the squad. Okay. Okay, he hates number 18, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Okay, they play in the same position. The Lun and Supriadi. Can we, can we, can we? I'm not sure. I might have a nickname for him. I'm not sure yet. Let me know in the comments if you've got a good nickname. You could just, I was going to use Fahad. I like that, but like, okay, so they can never play together. We can live, it's, it could have been a lot, lot better. There's a lot of bad players in this squad, but we, we'll live with that. Right, okay, next next thing on, on the list. I know this video is going to be way late now. I've accepted it. This is taking me all day to do. Right, finances. We have one and a half million pounds in the bank. Remember, we are. I've had to up this wage budget, budget way higher. I've done it again this season to make it work. Um... So one and a half million because we made those sales. Um, oh, I think that's bad. Even for the projection, I think that's bad. Um, Wage-wise, that it has. It does smell a bit like Leeds. I've got to be honest. It smells. It smells a bit Leedsy, but we'll just bail out <laughs> if it all goes horribly wrong. So. Next one, dynamics. I want to have a look, see how our team is getting on. Do they like me? I don't care how they're getting on. Do they like me? <laughs> it's all about me, okay? Do you like me? <clears throat> no, oh, let me get rid of this fucking window. That'd be a good, good idea for a start. Right. Dad is the only team leader still. We have four influence. Mossy will get up there because he was influential at, our, at Cape Town, wasn't he? So he'll get there. Um... Tian's probably not going to be around. Monk's there. Wei Zhang. Okay. Oh, wow. It's not great, is it? It's not a great level of support considering what's happened so far. Right, and finally, before we pick our team, let's have a look at my profile, see how I'm getting on. Hands on approach. Not very good at media handling because I don't turn up like 93% of the time. Reputation. Loyal. 
I like it's just a percentage. Thirty percent reputation. I. Oh, yeah. Um. Known for wanting a high tempo for signing young players for the first team. Signing young players for the first team squad. Okay. Okay, good. Good to know. Good to know. Definitely that's what I'm known for. Um, and. All right. We've got some double figures going on, people. One and three nipples. Okay, it's not it's not terrible, is it? I've done a coaching course. They wouldn't let me do another one because they said it's not it's not gonna do it make a difference, they said. <laughs> Fair enough. Alright. Sonny's gonna start in goal. And then we got so we can move uh, Song into the reserves. How many times I apologize in advance for all the times I forget Supriadi and Delun uh, hate each other. Okay. I apologize. Uh, <laughs> Because it's going to happen. We all know. Come on. Me. Right. So. Yep. Yeah. Right back. Our options are Wei Zhang, who was brilliant for us last season. So he kind of picks himself. At left back, we've got our new Chinese player, which he's pretty good for a Chinese player. 19 years old. Zeng. And then we've got Liam Byrne. He's going to like Mar He's like Virgil van Dijk of our squad. Six foot three. He's left footed. He's, and then it's just like whoever can be good enough to play alongside him. It's going to be Peng, Number Wang. Um, they're going to be the ones battling out. I'm going to give uh, Number Wang the game. Now, captain this season is Ming the Merciless. And his vice captain is actually the Giant. He's got really good uh, leadership stats. Um, okay, also, what are we doing? <coughs> Right, Ming's got to go in. And then we could go Supriadi. Did we just call him Superman? Is that too easy? Is that too easy? Or, so it's one or the other anyway. So that would naturally be one I would be looking at playing Delun or Supriadi. So we'll go, we'll go homegrown. Um, we'll go that way around, I think. Yeah. Um... And then you can go on the bench. Oh, God, I'm going to sub him on, aren't I? We all know this is going to happen, and I'm going to forget. Okay, right, Mac. And then Peng. No, you're not doing that. On the right wing. I've got to keep an eye on foreign players, right? It's four, isn't it? I'll just do it, and then we'll work it out. Oh, Mossy, obviously. And then we go Gump on the left. <laughs> Gump sounds really rude. Gump on the left. Johnny in there. And then uh, I'm starting the monk. He deserves, he 100% deserves. He's the one that's, you know, Fooley is going to have to take it away from him. After about a game and a half. <laughs> Probably. Um, and then, oh, we got Quinn is pretty good as well. So, we got, okay, let me go there. And then. You've got cold or something. What have you got? I got bloody cold. Yeah. Um. Dad, who is our assistant manager now? He, Dad, is officially our assistant manager. If I didn't say so before, let's let's not look at that. Um, <laughs> fucking hell. Um, and then we've got a bit of space. Hugh Jackman's still here. He's just as as filler. Sorry, Hugh. And then uh, there we go. Look, it's a, it's a decent team. We're going to get spanked. But right now, let me have this little bit of hope. I think I've got too many foreign players. I'm just going to kick off and hope they don't notice. And we're going to save this. Save this as our first team. God damn it. They noticed. They noticed. All right. I know. I want to play Mossy. I've got to play Mossy. I can't bring Mossy in and then him not be the one that's in that. But then our left wing is injured, which is the one I'd make. So we'll unleash Mossy. There's no rush. Oh, I want to see him today. Oh, fuck it. I could play him on the left. No, no, I want to, he's got to be, if we're going to play him, he's got to be in his, in his, in his spot. Okay, um, let's get rid of Johnny then. <laughs> um, yeah, Quim, there we go. Quim's got 14 passing, 11 passing. 
Okay, there we go. That's right. All right. Okay. I've got, we've got to see Mossy. I can't deprive you and me of seeing Mossy today. Right. Sorry. One last thing. You know, I, you know I do this just to get an idea. Right. Season preview. We're in the 10th and we're playing Wuhan clan who are evens with us. So this is going to be an even match, is it? Sorry, sorry, sorry. I just want to. I just want to see if the game really believes this is an e. Uh, okay, it's quite good. It's on thirty-two grand a week. <laughs> right. I was well, Mossy's on six, and I was pooing myself. Right. Okay. Here we go. Put on a show, people. Right. Just enjoy this little bit of last of bit of optimism. Breathe it in. <laughs> We're at home. We can make it count. And we are off to a exciting start here to begin the season. Come on. We're getting FM'd. We're getting FM'd. Unbelievable. Game screwing us over. Okay, this is all good. I'm happy. I'm fine with a boring match to begin with, honestly. They don't know that we can unleash a giant. We've made a special seat for him on the bench that's like in a hole, so he doesn't look tall until he gets out. And they're like, fucking hell. That's the plan, you see. And he works once because then, you know, everybody knows. But shh. Okay. Right. Got a nervous left back on his debut. That's fine. And he's on a yellow. Let's not go too much. That's it. We won't unleash him yet. He's going to have to do well with his chances because I don't think we're going to create a massive amount this season. I've got to be honest. Okay. Oh shit, I forgot the new kits. Sorry, kit man. I've only just realised. Just as I was thinking, oh, fucking hell, orange and white again. And then I was like, oh, fuck, I forgot to put the kits in. <clears throat> Got some new kits, boys. They're not orange and white. Right, so we're orange. Okay, good. Right, go on, Ming. Back post. Oh, Bernie, you almost scored. Is that a free kick? Okay. On his debut. Quim. Ming the Merciless, another one. Lovely header. What? Oh, it's Mossy. What a header. What a header, son. That's why he plays. Could the keeper have done better, arguably? Oh, it's a perfect header, though, isn't it? It's a perfect height. Just skims the underside of the bar. We've got a free kick here. Ming's taking it. <laughs> captain's armband. Sorry, captain's headphones. He's wearing his captain's headphones. And he's just boshed one in. It's like James Ward Prowse. Okay. Time to bring on. I hope I didn't misread it. He's actually five foot seven. He is six foot seven, right? Check him. Let's check. I'm not I don't want to play him as a target forward. I want to see if he can play this role. He's just, he's a poacher just with his head. Um, okay. I'm bringing you on for the person that you hate. So that is fine because I know game. Ten minutes left. Let's just drop it a cautious. I think we might win the league. Just saying. Just saying. Quim. Quim could have... Ooh. Okay, we're going to get relegated. Fuck. <laughs> Quim. <laughs> don't. Game. Don't. Don't. Come on. Let me have this. Quim could be a really... I, I know I'm saying this whilst... He was fine. I don't blame Burn. It's whoever's in the way. I'll blame him because he's not important. Um, 
Quim could be really important for us because he's going to actually have to play plenty because of the foreign players. So he, this guy could be important. A 2-1 win. A lovely free kick. A beautiful header from Mossy on his debut. And we are loving life. I have enjoyed... Like Again, I apologise that this is late. It's taken me all day. And I'm sitting here. It's currently 5.41pm, which means... And so an hour and 20 minutes before the video is supposed to go live. So, yeah, that's not going to happen. But I hope you enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. I think we're going to have some fun. We've signed a couple of brilliant players for us. It wasn't They're not even like randoms from our old teams. Like These are genuinely good players that make a difference for us. We haven't signed some dregs from our old team. These are two worldies. I'm very, very happy. Uh, scores on his debut. Of course it does. Tight groin. <laughs> I'm meeting the merciless. He's got the eyebrows and everything. It's great. He's turned out to be a really good player. He has really little physical ability to be playing a ball-winning midfielder. But hey-ho, he's doing it anyway. Right, there we go, my friends. I hope you enjoyed that. Please do leave a like if you can. And, you know, well, you can because it's easy. It's like, it takes a fucking second. Uh, subscribe if you're new. And I will see you on tomorrow's video. Hope you enjoyed that. I did. That was bloody brilliant. See you next time. I was doing so well, but there's been a casual... <clears throat> oh.